I recorded a video talking about how we could control a parameter across multiple materials using a driver. And I had a couple of people comment that we could also use a grouping function to achieve a similar effect. And I figured I would go ahead and show you that because it's also very useful. Since we've got six materials that we want to update, and let's say, like with the drivers, we want to change the roughness parameter across all six materials, but we don't want to have to do it six times. So with this method, you can come over and select the principled BSTF. Let me come over to tile zero. And you press control G. And what it does is it takes that principled BSTF and it puts it inside of this group. And there's a group input and then a group output. So if I press the tab key, we go back to the main shader. But this time the principled BSDF is actually a grouping. And it doesn't have to be just the principled BSDF. If you've got some other components that are going to be consistent across all the materials, you can put them in here also. Now, currently, if I come and I change the roughness, it's still only going to affect tile zero. So if we come back in here, select that principal BSDF, which is now just a group, we can see the group icon, press the tab key. And in order to make a change appear across all instances of this, you have to unhook the group input to roughness. Okay, so let's just make that one change, press the tab key, and then let's come over to tile one. And what you do is you delete the principal BSDF, press shift and A, and at the bottom it says group, and you'll see we have the principled BSDF, and we insert that, and it's now basically an instance of this group of the principled BSDF, and you just hook back in the variable bitmap for each material, and then come back to the material output. So let's go ahead and just do that really quick for each of these. Shift A, and we'll put in the principled BSDF, hook it up, Come to the next one and so on. So we've got all of those hooked up for each of the six materials. So when I select that group, press the tab key, I can come in now and I can change this one parameter. Let's turn our on our shader and you can see in this one location, it affects the roughness of all six materials. But you have to remember to disconnect it from the group input roughness. So the thing to remember with this group of the principled BSDF is that if the parameter is visible and available for changing, then it does so locally just for this particular material. So you, if you want it to affect all of the shaders that have this group, you have to remember to come over here and disconnect it. And then this becomes available as a change that affects all instances of that group for all shaders. So I just wanted to show you this really quick as just another particular way you could approach controlling multiple shaders with one mechanism.